welcome back i'm here with the new topic so today's topic is uh, access level in swift so in swift we have a uh, four type of access level so let me write one by one the number one is a uh, open access or public access you can say number 2 internal number 3 private and number 4 file private okay so what is open access actually so open access uh, is used within any source file from their defining modules okay and also you can use the these kind of um, access level from the different modules so what is module first because in swift uh, when we are going to create a particular project or that that project can cons consider as a module so in that module you don't need to import any file right that's why because everything is treated as a module and they have access and by default access is a internal so if you are talking about the open access or public access then you don't need to Uh, give any specific access uh, in that just you need to import and you can access that particular thing in a different mod other module also but if you will come in a uh, single module then single module everything by default is internal so what is internal internal also used within any source file but from their defining module only from any other source file you can't any other module you can't access those things okay so we'll take a example of internal first so what i'll do I'll just create one new file actually. So this file will be the Swift file. So I'll give the name if this file is first file. You can give uh, any name actually, uh, but it's good if you are giving names as per your project or uh, the need. So here we can create one class. This class name will be the demo class. No need of any super. We'll take variable so variable with the first name okay and the type will be string optional var last name and the type will be a string now we need a initializer for this so what i'll do f name we need a string comma l name string and we'll just assign this first name is equal to f name and the last name is equal to l name okay now i am going to write one function this function will be the get full name and uh, no need of any parameter just need a return type of string what i'll do just simple return first name and uh, plus We need a space between first name and last name, so we'll give last name. Fine. So this is my demo class. So I haven't given any specifier, access specifier here. So by default, everything is internal. So what I'll do? I'll just create one class here. So here uh, in Swift, you can give any file name. So I have given first file. So you don't need to import this file. Just you need to access. So I'll get the uh let demo class is equal to demo class and the first name will be alok and the last name will be tiwari fine now to show output just let me quickly take one label i have one label actually so this label has the outlet title string so what i'll do i'll do this title string dot text is equal to demo class dot call the method get full name okay now when i'm going to run i'll get the output demo class with alok tiwari
so we haven't get any problem and we didn't uploaded anything okay but and we are going to access in each and everything so here i am access this demo class dot first name and the demo class dot last name i can access this also and i can set this value here okay so i can access but now if i'll talk about the another one that is a private one so what private says private says that it restricts you as per the file or within the scope of the braces okay braces means the declarations whatever you are uh, giving the enclosing declarations in that so let me take a example quickly so what i'll do i'll give this as a private private now if i'm going to build this project you will see the error that first name is not accessible due to the private cool i'm not going to do this so what i'll do i'll just remove this two line from here okay and let it be here like this and now i'll go to the class here now what i'll do i'll just create one extension extension of the same demo class okay fine and i'll just cut this method here okay now everything is fine okay we'll get the output also if i'm going to do this as a private what what impact will happen nothing impact will happen because private gives you access in extensions also but the condition is that extension needs to be in the same file so how we can uh, check this just i'll quickly create one new file so i'll give the name actually here name will be the second file okay let me create this second file done i'll do the same thing whatever i have done there extension for the demo class and what i'll do i'll create one method uh print first name first name fine here what i'll try to do i'll try to print the first name see here i'm not getting option but what i'll do i'll do the last name i have access why because in this class what i have done i have taken this first name as a private so if this is a private you can um get the access in the extension but that extension needs to be in the same file because in different file it's not give any access clear fine so let me co comment this so i think we are good with the private now now we have the last thing is file private and this is very important actually so let me go in first file okay and also if uh, there is one more scenario if I, i have taken one class new class this is the name new class we don't need super we just want one access of this so what i'll do i'll just copy this one quickly paste here and this is a, my demo class okay so this has a variable suppose name with the string optional and we have this in it don't need to do anything okay what we will do we'll take a function so x 
access demo class without any parameter okay so what I'll try to do I'll try to just access this demo class property so what I can do demo class dot first name see I don't have access but I'll do the last name I have access so in the same file also if you have the different class then you can't access the the name so here if I'll give this name here name is equal to the last name so in the same class also that private access fire is not going to give you access for that particular variable fine now if I'm going to change this a the file private what it, it very uh, simply uh, you can understand with the name of this particular access fire that private file private means in the same file so file private if I'm going to write this first name then first check about our output anything uh, is happening or not because here also uh, we were using previously so so first let me check nothing no impact here we can access the last name now I want to write this as a first name and you have access so if you are going to give any variable or function name as a file private specifier then you can access that thing in a different class uh, class also but that needs to be in the same file I think it's pretty much clear and uh, if I'll go in the controller and I want to access so I can't do this actually so demo class dot first name I can't do but demo class dot last name I can access so file private also don't give access in a different file okay I think it's pretty much clear and uh, if you guys like my video then please like subscribe and comment comment or any uh, queries so if I'll able to do that definitely I'll make a video on that also thank you thanks for watching